Networking and marketing made simple is for you, the business owner who has a product, a service, or a message that you believe in. My name is Scott Aaron, and each week we'll take a behind the scenes look into the real world marketing and networking tactics and strategies for getting what you have in front of you to a lot more people. Thanks for spending time with me. And now let's get started. Super excited for you to hear today's amazing episode. But before I jump into that, I have so many people that reach out to me and ask, how do I start a podcast? You know, what do I need to do? And what you guys listen to, wherever you're listening to this from, uh, if you haven't heard about Anchor uh, by Spotify, in my opinion, it is the easiest way to make a podcast. Uh, it's one of those things where I jumped into it because it has everything that I needed in in one place, and that's what I loved about it. Um, you know, the tools that allow you to record and then edit your podcast from your phone or your computer, which is so accessible. Uh, but also, when you actually host your podcast on Anchor like I do, you can distribute that podcast on all the listening platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Breaker, all the different big ones that people are listening to. It's all from here. And it's everything that you need to make a podcast in one place. And the other great thing is, and why I always suggest it to people, it's absolutely free. And this is the easiest thing to do. All you have to do is download the Anchor app uh, on uh, Apple or on your Android or go to anchor.fm. Uh, and that's how you get started. It's that simple. So if you have a message, if you have something really important you want to share, getting your podcast out on the anchor.fm platform will get you there. And not even will get you there. You'll be amazed at what could happen. So enjoy today's episode. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So super excited about today's episode, but before I jump in, we are officially eight days away from our final LinkedIn intensive of the year. So we've done, I think, one other one this year. So we only do two a year, and this is the final opportunity to jump in. It's our amateur to expert five-day LinkedIn intensive, where we teach you all of the latest and greatest things in regards to LinkedIn. Uh, optimizing your profile, building your ideal network, messaging, sales call structure, closing sales, content creation, our 20-minute-a-day routine that you can apply to your business. So we would love to love you to be a part of it. If you go to the description of this episode, you'll see there's a registration link. So we begin next Tuesday, September 27th at 8 p.m. EDT. Uh, normally we, we start on Mondays, but Monday is a Jewish holiday next, next week. Uh, and also it's Taylor's 10th birthday. So we're going to be celebrating that. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from eight to 9 PM EDT. Friday is our happy hour session from five to 6 PM EDT. And Saturday and Sunday are our brunch sessions from 11 to 12 PM EDT. Uh, they are live and recorded. So if you can't attend live, you can watch the replays until October 9th. So you have over a week and a half to binge on all of these episodes. Now, what I wanted to talk about today is something that, that people often speak of, and it's the difference between the free version of LinkedIn versus the paid version of LinkedIn or premium. So Navigator and, and Recruiter, those are separate uh, conversations in their own right. But what I did want to talk about is the, the two most basic versions that people use on LinkedIn, which is the regular version, the free version, or premium. And there is a constant debate of which one is actually better. So, you know, the it brings up so many questions. Should you be using the free version of LinkedIn? Should you be using uh, premium? What I want to accomplish in this episode is to fully clarify why I use 
the free version and only have used the free version and why I encourage others to start with the free version. Now, that is not to say that you can't upgrade after that, but um, if you can't master the free version and utilize it for what it's great for, why would you pay for something that you haven't yet mastered? So if need be, if need be, you could always utilize the paid version of LinkedIn. I'm not saying never do that. I, for one, have never paid for uh, premium, uh, which again, I'll explain why. But I also wanted to go over the three main talking points that a lot of people have brought up and mentioned regarding you know, why you should use the paid version uh, and my rebuttal of why you can use the free version and be just as successful not having to upgrade to the paid version of LinkedIn or premium. So my first talking point is that people often speak about um, the limits that you have in regards to searching with the free version. Um, and with the paid version, you're allowed unlimited searches. So with the free version, you're allowed about 12 to 15 searches per month. Now, you, the idea of this is to, to build a thriving network. And if you're utilizing the, the free version of LinkedIn and the searches that you're allowed, the 12 to 15 per month, in those searches, you're going to build incredible connections. If you happen to go crazy with your searches, and you use them all up, you may get a message from LinkedIn uh, saying something like, uh, it looks like you're a power searcher, upgrade to premium where you're allowed unlimited searches. Now, here's the thing. What you need to realize is that if you do happen to use all those searches, you can use the My Network area, which I've talked about before. It's the two little heads on the top of your LinkedIn page. And this is where your suggested connections can be utilized every single day until your searches are reloaded. Yes, reloaded. So for those that didn't know this, on the first of every month at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I know that's very, very specific, everyone's free account is that has used up all their searches is actually refreshed with a fresh batch of 12 to 15 searches for the next month. So even if you use all of them, number one, you can use the My Network area. Number two, they're refreshed. On the other side, just to kind of go to the other side, the paid version, you can have unlimited searches. You can search all day, all night, every single day for the rest of your life, and there is absolutely zero penalty. Now. If I was to recommend the paid version of LinkedIn for the purpose of searching unlimitedly, the professions that I feel that could best utilize the premium version uh, would be more on the recruitment side of corporate professions, corporate recruiters, not people uh, recruiting for their personal organization, um, you know, uh, someone that's you know, building their own team, uh, you know, uh, client retention, customers on a entrepreneurial side. On the corporate side, a lot of companies that, that have recruiters that are working for them will actually pay for them to use premium. The other thing is I would also recommend premium for uh, if someone is uh, in a job and they're looking to pivot out of it, they're looking for something new, um, I, I would recommend that if they want to kind of make a career change or a career pivot. Uh, otherwise, the free version will be more than sufficient to give you the suitable types of connections uh, you want to network with. Now, what I will also say is this, you know, I, I had this uh, person troll me on Facebook and LinkedIn uh, because they were claiming that I didn't support LinkedIn because I was telling people not to do premium. Listen, uh, another rebuttal to that is some people are hard up for money right now. And I think premium is like $49 to $79 a month. 
there's individuals that can't afford that. So I'm not going to recommend something that might put someone uh, who or, or who's hard up for money right now. But the other thing is, uh, again, if you haven't mastered the free version, why pay for the paid? So my second talking point that is always brought up is uh, the people that are viewing your profile. So this is, you know, with the free version of LinkedIn, you'll notice that LinkedIn will let you know that certain people have viewed your profile. Maybe they'll show you one or two people and they'll say, you know, pay for premium to unlock uh, the potential and the power to see every single person that has viewed your profile. Now, outside looking in, this may seem like a very, very attractive benefit uh, to pay for premium. But in reality, um, I would much rather not know who was actually looking at my profile I would rather have someone, uh, I would rather, I would say, I would like to to know that person who looked at my profile was intrigued by who I am and what I do. And then they took action by sending me a connection request or following my account. If someone is just going to look at my profile and they take absolute, absolutely no further action, what good of that is that to me? How can I benefit from that? So in that regard, if you want to know who is just checking out your profile and then taking no action after that, by all means, pay for premium. If your more significant concern, which it should be, is attracting the right people that will not only view your profile, but take action on viewing it and connecting with you, messaging you, emailing you, then all you need is the free version of LinkedIn. Now, the third and final talking point that comes up is that people say, well, with the paid version, there are more search filters. So I can narrow my searches more with the paid version of LinkedIn as opposed to the free version. Now, with the free version of LinkedIn, just to let you guys know, you can filter by people, by location, by company, by previous company, and even a few others. With premium, You are given a few extra search filters, but still, in my honest and humbled opinion, if you know exactly who your ideal client or power partner is for collaborations on LinkedIn, the free version of LinkedIn is going to be more than complimentary with what you're looking to achieve in searching and connecting with the right people on LinkedIn. Now, again, yes, the paid version does give you more search filters, but it then brings up the question, but is that really necessary? If you know that ideal client from a professional or industry standpoint, or even a location or company standpoint, the free version can do all of those things for you. You just punch them into the search engine. You filter by location. You can filter by company. You can filter by multiple uh, searches. You can do business coach, comma, podcaster with the free version. I've gotten much pushback from uh, individuals on how I don't promote paying for LinkedIn. Um, and and again, uh, I'm not encouraging people to not pay for LinkedIn. But there are a couple of reasons why. And I said this a little bit earlier, but I just want to reiterate. The first reason is I don't know where someone's monetary situation is where maybe they can't even afford to pay for premium. Why would I suggest something that that business owner or that business professional may not even be able to afford it? I don't want to offer something that may become a financial strain. Second is I really want people to fully optimize and leverage the free version of LinkedIn before they even consider upgrading their account to premium navigator or recruiter. If someone is going to take advantage of the free version and all the the significant nuances it allows you to do to utilize and take advantage uh, and see results with LinkedIn and there is no need to upgrade, why should that person have to upgrade then? So again, those are the two main reasons of why it's not, I'm not saying don't upgrade, but if the free version is complementing you very, very well with what you're doing, you don't have to. 
So I just wanted to kind of clear the air, but put out there the big differences between the free and the paid version. And, and you can see there are some differences, but I wouldn't say a landslide of differences where you should definitely pay for premium. Use the free version, optimize it and utilize it to your best capability. And you yourself determine if you need to upgrade or not. If you don't, you don't have to. I never have. And it's not that I don't support LinkedIn. I love LinkedIn. I, I want more people to open accounts on LinkedIn. But if you don't have to upgrade, then why are you going to? Again, if you can go off of just not having to use all the search filters, if you can deal with just having those 12 to 15 searches per month, if you can deal with not knowing exactly who's looking at your profile and you take full advantage of all the creator tools and all the amazing things that the basic version of LinkedIn allows you to do, then I say go squeeze as much juice as you as you can out of that. Now, again, we're eight days away from our final five-day amateur to expert LinkedIn intensive. The registration link is in the description below. Click that link, get yourself registered, and we'll see you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. EDT for night number one. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please enjoy the rest of your days, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much again for checking out today's episode. And if you are listening through iTunes, Spotify, wherever you are, please leave me a rating and review. Let me know what you loved, what you would like to see improved, or ideas you have for future episodes. And if you are interested in taking your business to the next level, don't hesitate to go to my website, www.scotterron.net where you can schedule a free discovery call with me where I can learn more about you, your business, what you're struggling with, and how we can work together. And don't forget to check out my wife, Nancy, and mine, our free community on Facebook called LinkedIn Leads for Life. We would love to see you in there. Have a great rest of your day. And thank you, everyone, for your support. Grateful for each and every one of you.